Is my microphone on? Yes, it is. Hey guys, it's Elise. Welcome or welcome back. Um, today, I wanted to talk about a distant relative trying to get me to join her cult. <laughs> Just kidding, but it kind of did feel like that. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this little story time, if you will. I'm just gonna get straight into it. Personally, I was frustrated about the vagueness and they sort of feed you tidbits of information and it's just like, what's going on here? Like, what is this? Like, how does it work? Tell me all the details. This is that video for past me. Hopefully it helps someone out there that is going through this. You can identify what it is and you can just have a bit more information if that's what you're looking for. My distant relative called up maybe like a week or two after the wedding and just asked how it went and all that and I was like oh how sweet that's nice and then we sort of talked about like work or just like general life stuff and um, they asked me whether I would be interested in joining a sort of personal development group and I was like yeah I'm interested in that like why not so they offered to set up a call a zoom meeting a zoom meeting with their mentor just for like a meet and greet and see if I would be a good fit for this mindset group so the call went well I met the mentor we discussed like where we're at in life and our ambitions that sort of thing my relative stayed on the line and organized to have a another phone call before I get too far into it this was sort of presented to me as a business opportunity um, and I'm doing these all the rabbit ears because I don't really agree with it as being called a business opportunity what it is is a group that sort of meets and develops their entrepreneurial skills just really working on personal development as far as I know obviously I'm not in the group so can't speak to the whole truth about what happens they said that it's 80% that like personal development and 20% working on the cash flow building this business asset that generates cash flow for you what that business asset is uh -huh. the phrase my relative used was they leverage the back end of a network marketing company so it basically works on selling Amway products that's what we're dealing with here if you're interested in how the Amway compensation plan works um, like how you actually generate money from that um, I've done a separate video on that um, so check that out I'll link it of course I didn't know that going into it and I sort of only figured everything out a bit further down so yeah there's a sort of vetting process they explained that people go through to join this group firstly the meet and greet and then secondly another zoom call what she called mindset questions some of the questions were are you outcome focused or more process focused i'm not going to answer these um but yeah just so you get an idea of what sort of questions there were and maybe you can recognize if you're in the same boat if you're being asked the same questions um, another one was how patient are you have you had any experience with revenue creating businesses rate one to ten where you are versus where you want to be in terms of like career and financial freedom living the life you want that sort of thing at the end of that zoom call um my relative asked me to read a book the business of the 21st century by robert kiyosaki they emailed it to me like a pdf so and it was just 150 pages so that was easy to get through yes so there was the mindset questions zoom call and then she asked me to read the book and then we had a meeting to discuss the book and what i thought of it oh and then after that she explained you go through like three sets so there's a group evaluation session held by the leader <laughs> now, now it really does sound like a cult the yeah i guess the leader of like the broader mindset group so not my relative not their upline or not their mentor but like higher than that like further upline than that 
Yes, so you have the group evaluation session and then you have, for each of them, um, you have like a question and answer session, which is a Zoom call with your upline, which gives you an opportunity to ask any questions you had um, based on the group evaluation session. And then they give you maybe a bit more information on top of that as well. And then at the end of all these meetings, you are offered a position in the mastermind group. So it's all very exclusive. It's like if you'll be chosen to join this group and keep in mind all these meetings are just like a few days apart. So it is taking up a fair bit of my time. So I guess that's why I haven't posted for a while because I've been pretty involved in this and not only the Zoom calls, but trying to research what actually is this. My relative could see that I was getting a bit frustrated with the vagueness of it. They gave this analogy that they feed you breadcrumbs so you aren't like overwhelmed with it all instead of like throwing the whole bread loaf at you. <laughs> you scare the duck away so they just feed you breadcrumbs. So yeah I went to the first one. My relative said they had a business revenue of 4,000 per month and I was like, wow, that's really impressive. And they've only been working on this for two years. So I, I was really impressed. Um, I thought that that was $4,000 deposited in their account like every month. So I was like, wow, <laughs> tell me how this works. I am interested. But yes, I was, I was mistaken. As I later found out, that's $4,000 that they spend on Amway products, not how much they actually get back. Look, I made it to the group the second group evaluation session and then the call after that but somewhere between the first group evaluation session the question and answer session 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 after that I decided it was not for me even though they said that you know buying the Amway products and the whole Amway model is only 20% of it I just don't I don't see it as a viable way to make money um, or generate cash flow. They say, you know, spending money on Amway products, buying the Amway products, it's anyway spending. So it's money that you would spend anyway buying, you know, household items from the supermarket. That's the part I don't agree with because value wise, the Amway products just do not meet up to the products I buy at the moment. I don't want to spend a lot of money on these sorts of products like I want to I want to spend money on things that matter to me like buying a fabulous new top or like dress or something that makes me feel good I don't want to spend it on expensive like laundry powder I can't ask other people to buy Amway products when I don't believe in it myself so that's kind of the end of that my relative asked me to listen to a few podcasts and in one of these podcasts, it was similar. It was like people that have been successful in the Amway, um, you know, model or in the mindset group kind of thing. Um, and it's all very motivating. And to be honest, I was genuinely excited um, towards the start because I was like, this sounds like a great way to meet like-minded people. People that like want more for themselves and yeah, want to improve their lives. Like how exciting. I think that's great. And people that are dreaming big and like really considering what they want for themselves if money wasn't an issue but yeah in the end i quickly came to realize oh, this is not for me i don't agree with it being like portrayed as a business asset i get that it is like you are forming a network with other people and i guess like this network could come in handy if you wanted to like sell your own product but yeah I don't really see it as a business asset the likelihood of you becoming successful in this model is very slim it works on the commission without going into the Amway uh, compensation plan too much it works on commission so you need a lot of people to really be making any money because you make, you know, anywhere from 3% to 21% of the Amway products you um, or your downline people uh, spend. Obviously, there's success stories, but in the end, 
this is not the path for me. If you do wish to follow this avenue, like I wish you all the best. I do genuinely want to see my relatives succeed because I do care for them. It's not for me, but hey, if that's what they want to do, like I really hope that they can succeed with it. So that's some insight about what's happened to me over the last few weeks. Um, very busy researching in the background, like whether this is a viable option for me. Um, but yeah, I've decided to go in different directions um, than what this opportunity is providing. Have you guys ever been recruited to a multi-level marketing scheme? Are you part of an MLM and you enjoy it or it's working for you? Tell your stories. All right, well, check out my video on the Amway compensation plan and how that all works out. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.